this lesson was about what to feed the worms in our worm bin. The students got to connect with the worms for... I found the juvenile. You found a juvenile. Good job, Look at my little baby one. Again, those kind of worms. It's a girl, I think. You think it's a girl? Huh. It's if it a has girl. a putellum, it is it an adult? Uh, then we picked different cards out with different foods and tried to figure out if that's something we would like to do compost or not by using our observations from the worm bin. So you can think about some of the things we saw in there and also some of the things that we don't see in there. So let's see. All right, pizza. Should we feed pizza to the worms? No. Did we see any pizza in there? No. No, we didn't. So you can write pizza or you can also draw a picture of pizza and we're gonna put it under the don't feed me side. Did we see any eggshells in our worm bed today? Yeah. yeah, we can definitely feed them eggshells. We don't wanna feed them the whole egg because we're gonna eat the whole egg, right? Did we see any turkey in the worm bed today? No. So we don't put turkey in our worm bed or any other meat either. And then finally we fed the worms a big meal full of foods and we covered the worms back up and wished them good luck because we won't see them for a few weeks. This lesson introduced the idea of decomposition to them. Definitely works with their reading skills and also their sorting and categorizing skills. And it also connects with some of their, their lives at home because some of their families do composting at home. Thank you, worms, for making us so wash awesome. Yep, you Thank can go wash your hands if you need to.